Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Now, uh, for this video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different um, because seeing, seeing as the weather's been really red hot over the last uh, couple of days and it's going to get even hotter. Um, I thought I'd do a video uh, talking about the 10 things I hate, you know, about the hot weather. Uh, now, if you're familiar with my channel, you'll know all too well uh, how much I despise hot weather and I can't wait for autumn to come back. Um, but, uh, but I thought it's a video I've always wanted to do for some time, you know, and I thought to myself, well, while the weather's really hot and that we've got these exceptionally high temperatures, I thought I'd do it. I thought I'd film it today, yeah. Uh, but before I start here, uh, listing the 10 things I hate about hot, hot weather, I just want to get something over. I'm not having a go at anybody who likes the hot weather, it loves the sunshine. That's fine. I know a lot of people do like the sunshine and that you know so that's fine i'm not having to go at use you know enjoy the sunshine while, while it lasts you know um, i'm just saying um you know i'm just speaking for people like me that don't like the hot weather you know uh, and i'm sure we'll enjoy this video and empathize with all the things i've got to say yeah so i just want to get that over guys before the start i'm not having to go at any of you you lost or indeed anybody you know that likes the hot weather that's fine you're welcome to it enjoy it while it lasts i'm just saying what i think of it yeah all right then guys so uh, these are uh, 10 things and um, uh, what you know about the hot weather are in no particular order. Um, I'd say they're just the 10 primary things that really get me ghosts about the hot weather. All right then, guys, I've wrapped it on enough now. So without further ado, we will start with number 10. Number 10 is unable to sleep at night. Now, uh, there's nothing worse when the you know when the weather's really muggy, you know, uh, and uncomfortable, you know, uh, trying to get to sleep at night. You're tossing and turning in your bed over and over again. You're kicking the back the blankets off, you strip off, you know, uh, you just can't sleep at all, no matter what you do, you pick a book up, you read the book for an hour or so, you try and get back to sleep, you know, you still can't sleep, you know, and you just feel as if you're in the deepest pits of hell, you know, uh, oh yeah, absolute agony, you know, um, trying to sleep at night, and you don't you leave the window open, because, you know, because of the danger of bugs flying in, you know, but more on those later, yeah, so, uh, oh, one of my chief hates about the hot weather is uh, being unable to sleep at night, Number nine, spoils your travelling. Now, uh, there's nothing worse than uh, getting on a, a train or a bus and when the weather's uh, really hot, uh, you know, feeling really uncomfortable on, the, you know, on, on the transport and that, you know. And when it gets crowded and that, you know, and you get your hot, sweaty bodies, you know, uh, pile, you know, packed against you. Oh, yeah, absolute hell on earth, yeah. Yeah. Um, Many the time I may look forward to travelling, you know, popping out to Manchester or Chester for a day out, you know, and by the time Friday comes, the weather goes really hot, I've had to postpone it, because I don't like travelling in the heat, yeah, absolutely hate it, one of the worst things about, say, the hot weather, and that is, un that is, um, feel, you know, um, that is, it's, it spoils your travelling. Number eight feeling constantly thirsty now uh, when the when the um, weather's uh, really hot uh, you know all you're doing is uh, drinking cold drinks all the time you know uh, getting lolly ices and that you know doing everything possible to try and stay cool and blow me and um, if you can you know um you just feel as if you want to drink and drink and drink and drink you know and uh, you know uh, most of the time no matter what you do to try and sort of like quench your thirst, or it might quench you for a bit, but you still want to have another cold drink and that, you know, and I say another and another, and uh, you know, um, that's it. You see, like uh, that's how hot that's when the weather gets really hot, you know, all you want to do, you, you seem to get this like a uh, really voracious thirst, like you're in the Sahara Desert, you know, uh, it, that song comes to mind, Cool Clear Water. I don't know if any of you guys remember that, it's a very, very appropriate song for anybody who's there uh, walking in the heat and that, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's number eight, and that is feeling constantly. Thirsty. Number seven makes you irritable. Now, uh, I absolutely hate the hot weather, and sometimes it can spill over into my speech. You know, if I get very grumpy, I get very irritable, and that, you know, uh, you can't seem to concentrate fully. Uh, maybe one of, I, I, I could be doing some writing and that, and I can't really focus completely because it's so bloody hot and that, you know, uh, even moving around for a couple of seconds and that, you know, it's uh, I start to get irritable and that, you know. And, um, and, you know, as I say, like when you go out, and as I said before, on, on public transport and that, you know, it gets that hot and that, especially when it gets crammed and that, you know, yeah. So, um, yeah, um, really makes me irritably hot weather, yeah. So there you go. That is number seven, and that is makes you irritable. Number six, prevalent bugs. 
Now, uh, there's nothing worse uh, for anybody who hates insects than the bloody hot weather. You know, uh, you get invaded by all sorts of bugs, especially those bloody flying garden ants. We've had quite a few of them uh, when we've had really red hot summers and that. And no matter what you do, you can't seem to get rid of them fully. You know, bugs everywhere. And as I just said before, if you open the windows when you can't sleep at night, you get them flying in and that, you know, mosquitoes and the like, you know. So, uh, yeah, they seem to be like uh, causes a, a mass uh, outbreak of uh, all manner of bugs in uh, the hot weather. So there you go. That is number six, and that, and that is prevalent bugs. Number five, not good for people who suffer from hay fever and other ailments. I have uh, the utmost pity for people who, who suffer from hay fever and, uh, you know, as I say, similar ailments who um, the hot weather has a very, very adverse effect on their ailments and that, you know, it must be awful, you know, I really, you know, my heart goes out to you, like I say, if you suffer from hay fever, those kind of symptoms and that, you know, nothing worse than a bloody, bloody endless days of red hot weather and that, you know, it must be absolute hell on earth for you, so as I say, you have me full of uh, sympathies, yeah, so, um, so that is uh, number five, not good for people who suffer from hay fever and other ailments. Number four, you don't enjoy your food the same. Now, um, I uh, one of the things I love about the winter is they're uh, talking into a nice big hot, you know, uh, red hot dinner, you know, like scouts and that, you know, uh, bangers and mash, you know, a uh, hot bowl of soup. But in this bloody hot weather, you don't know what to eat. You know, uh, I've been uh, having a lot of ham, you know, uh, cold meats and that, you know, because, you know, it's too hot. To have it, you know, say like a really hot roast dinner. Some people can have it, you know, a really hot roast dinner in the sunshine and it, does, it doesn't bother them. But not me and even my mum, you know, she says you don't know what to eat when the weather's hot. You don't seem to, I don't know about you guys, but you don't seem to enjoy your food the same when the bloody red, the weather's as hot as this. You know, um, oh yeah, love the winter. You know, um, you'd really enjoy one of the, love, the great things about the winter. You're really coming in, like, say if you've been working all day, coming in and having a nice say, hot meal and that, you know, uh, yeah, oh yeah. The hot weather is very bad, you know, for people who enjoy, um, enjoy the food. So there you go, guys. That's number four. You don't enjoy your food the same in hot weather. Number three, crowds everywhere. Now, you can guarantee the minute the sun's in the sky, it brings them all out. They're everywhere. They're in the bloody supermarkets. They're on the bus. They're on the trains. Oh, packing the streets out. Oh, crowds, crowds, crowds every bloody way. And it's even worse when the kids are off school. You know, that's double the uh, misery, you know. Um, yeah, it's say like uh, sometimes you have a little joke, me and my mum. Oh, the sun's gone to the reds and that. They're all out and that, you know. Um roads are busier than that, you know. Are you getting the idiots roaring round on the bloody motorbikes and that all hours of the night, you know. As I say... You know, you can guarantee when the sun's in the sky, when the sun's got his hat on, out they all come. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That's it, number three, and that is crowds everywhere. Number two, you can't wear your favourite clothes in the hot weather. Now, uh, it goes without saying, the minute the, the weather, you know, the temperature's really sore, everybody virtually strips off. You know, they're going to the, going into the supermarkets off bloody naked and that, you know. And uh, let's face it, some of them aren't pretty, <laughs> some of them aren't pretty sights, you know, what they wear and that, you know. You know but we won't go into that, you know. Um, but, oh, yeah. Really, you see all the tattoos, you see everything, you see uh, things what you would never dream people had tattooed on their bodies and that, you know. Yeah, you can't wear your favourite clothes and that, you know. I like to wear a nice shirt and that sometimes when I go out. I like to wear a suit and that, you know. And But yeah, you've got to strip off, you've got to, even sometimes when you wear a skimpy t-shirt, you still feel bloody hot. You know, you still feel, you still feel... You, you still feel uh, you, you, as if you're in the deepest pits of hell, you know. Um, but, oh, yeah, I love I love winter. I get another reason why I love winter, you know. You can wear your favourite clothes and that. You can put a nice jumper on and that, you know. Uh, and um, the one good thing about the winter, if it gets too cold, you can pile on clothing and that. Whereas in the hot weather, you're stripping off, you're stripping off. And, you know, you're still bloody hot. Even if you walked around bloody naked, you'd still be bloody sweating, considering how high the bloody temperatures are, are this week, you know. So, oh, let's hope it doesn't last. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I love to wear my favourite clothes and that, and that's another reason why I prefer the winter, you know, and um, the hot weather. Everybody's walking around off bloody naked and that, and they'll say, they're not pretty sights. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then, guys, so there you go. That is number two, and you can't wear your favourite clothes. All right, guys, we're moving on to the number one now. But as I said, they're, they're no particular order. And number one is irritating radio announcers who go on and on and on about how much they love the bloody heat. Please give over. 
You go on, I mean, I'll have the radio on. I don't know how many times some of these presenters, all he seems to think about, oh, the sun's in the sky. Oh, it's lovely today. Glorious weather. Oh, bloody belts up, for God's sake. You're irritating the hell out of people who don't like the hot weather. They go on and on and on and on, you know. And even if you send them an email and that, you know, they still, you know, they don't like to read it out and that, you know, because they don't like it, you see. They don't like it when you get people disagreeing with them about the hot weather. They don't seem to realise, you know, they're going on about, oh, a beautiful day. And if it's the only thing, you know, to talk about, you should be playing more records instead of rabbiting on about how much you love the bloody hot weather. Oh, do you really get my goat, guys, you know, um... You really do. They go on about it, like, you know, and uh, it gets, in the end, it gets a bit, I, I end up switching off, guys. You know, it's the same on the telly as well. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I was watching one of the uh, news, uh, news uh, uh, weather uh, weather announcers on the news and that, and uh, the minute she saw that there was uh, there was hot weather in the offing, she went, yes! As if her, bloody, her favourite team had scored a bloody vital goal or a bloody uh, cup match, you know. Yes! Oh, bloody hell! Give me a break. Oh! I have never seen a person go so mad on, on the coming of the hot weather than this particular woman. Yeah, and she's just one of them, you know. Um, and see, when the weather forecasts, they say, well, it's going to be hot weather. They say, good news. What good news? Why are they, why are they making these sweeping generalisations that people, everybody likes the hot weather? Trust me, we don't, you know. So these weather forecasters need to think as well, and they need to take into account. They need to say, well, it's not for everybody. I actually feel like saying, going like, yes, myself. When you get the weather announcer saying, it's not for everybody, that's right. It's not for everybody. Not everybody likes the bloody hot weather so you know you get it now and again you don't get it much but you get it now and again it's not for everybody and you'll be and even better those who don't like the sun you'll be pleased to know we're going to get some cooler temperatures yeah so yes yeah but as i say oh i couldn't get over that woman i nearly spluttered on me tea when she, you know when she said about the wedge went yes oh my god as i say it was like somebody celebrating you know their favorite team scoring at an important uh, fa cup match you know I mean, you know, people like, I know a lot of people like the hot weather, but you don't have to go mad on it like that, guys. You know, oh, are you forgetting about the global warming as well? Are you forgetting about that? And as I said before, hay fever, people suffer from hay fever. Are you forgetting about that? They need to stop and think, you know, it's all right going on about the sun. I much you love the sun and that. We'll get out and that, you know, go down to the beach and that, you know. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll get, wear our shorts and that and our skimpy vests. Oh, do me a favour, you know. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people, you know, as I'm sure, you know, as well as a lot of people like the hot weather and watching this video, I am sure to the contrary, there are many, many, many people who hate the hot weather as much as I do. Yeah. Oh, another thing I don't like about these radio announcers, when they start playing bloody summer song after summer song after summer song after, su oh my God, it goes my bloody head in. It really does. Yeah. You know, I feel like saying, why don't you play bloody Winter Wonderland? Well, that, that, that most probably, uh, they'd, they'd be shocked if if, if, if he suggested that. You know, you know, play some like an awesome song with an awesome feel and that, you know. Um, Laughter in the Rain by Neil Sedaka. Some, by believe it or not, some, a, a certain DJ sort of like criticised that. And that, that's a great song, Laughter in the Rain. But anyway, we won't go there, you know. But oh yeah, guys, you know, um, <coughs> absolutely hate the art weather. And it, <coughs> sorry. Yeah, I, got, I, I didn't like it when I was a kid. Some people might say, why don't you like the hot weather? They don't understand. Um, my dad didn't like the hot weather. He couldn't stand it. When it was hot, he used to take his shirts off in the house and that. You know, he hated the hot weather. So maybe it'd take after him. I don't know. But even my mum's not. My mum likes the sun. I, like, I don't mind the sun. Don't get me wrong. I, I like the sun. But I don't like it too hot, if you know what I mean. You know, go, you like that, you know, and you you know, that's what I don't like. I don't, you know, don't think I don't like the sun. I do like the sun, but I also like a nice cool breeze with the sun. You know, nice, you know, nice temperatures and that, you know, not too high. Like, you know, um, you know, you can get some like, uh, I remember when I was a kid, we got some real sunny Septembers, but it was nice and crisp. You got that nip in the air, you know, and uh, oh, there's one certain newspaper guys uh, they, they seem to be obsessed with with with, with the hot weather. They, they, like it's like an important. They put on the front page and that summer's on the way and it could last the Halloween. Let's hope it doesn't bloody last the Halloween. Yeah. All right then, guys. That there. That's it. I'll finish it now. So there's me top the ten things I hate about hot weather. Do you share my opinion about the hot weather? Do you hate it? Do you hate these radio announcers as well that go on and on about it? Yeah. Let me know. I, you know. Let me know anything you don't like about the hot weather. You must probably agree with everything I've said there. You know. Oh yeah. Please discuss. You know. I'll be very, very interested to hear your thoughts on the hot weather. You know. And uh, yeah. Uh, you know. Anything at all on that. You know. Um, yeah. All right, then, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. I know. I know it was a little bit. Uh, for anybody who loves the sun, it was a little bit, a bit, a bit downbeat. But nevertheless, I'm just saying. That's just how I feel about the hot weather. I'm not having a go at you, Sloss. If you like the hot weather, you're welcome to it. Go on to the beach, you know, get out in the sun, enjoy yourselves while it lasts, while it lasts. 
yeah. All right then, guys. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, you should like the video. Uh, please repeat to share, subscribe, comment. And it all going well. I'll be back, back again very, very soon. I'll be back to the uh, horror horror movie reviews. Yeah. All right then, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, stay nice and cool in the hot weather. And pray to God it breaks soon. Yeah. All right then, guys. That's it. Bye for now. Take care of yourselves.